how's it going everybody? It's your boy Universal Veteran here again with another video and I wanted to make a quick video because I wanted to discuss exactly what is going to happen once I reach my goal of my weight loss. Um, I appreciate all the new people who have subscribed to my channel recently and the people who have came back and watched my weight loss journey reoccurring over the past year or so. Um, I believe two or three days from now will be one year since I started this goal. And um, when I first started this, I was under the mindset that I could just work out and go to the gym and that would just solve all my problems. And I would just lose weight naturally, gain muscle, and there wouldn't be any issues. I just wouldn't change my diet. Nothing would change in terms of what I was doing. My mindset would remain the same and that was ignorant of me and I learned from my mistake. Uh, when I first started my weight loss journey from week one all the way up to week 22, I believe that went from um, October 21st or something like that until January of February, um, from October 21st, 2023 till February of 2024. Um, I basically lost no weight whatsoever. Um, during that time, I was constantly going to the gym, but I was not changing the fact that I was eating out all the time. The food that I was consuming was high in calories. I never made, I never looked at my calorie count, never altered my diet whatsoever. And because of that, during the entire 23 weeks, I lost no weight whatsoever. Not a single pound was lost. I started at 293, and then it was 293 February that next year. Um, after February, I got discouraged and I gave up going to the gym. And from there, over the next two months, I started gaining weight again. I got up to my highest of 297 and I went to my medical checkup for my DOT physical and my examiner card. And the lady told me there that if I didn't, if I didn't lose weight the next time that I came there, I would be at 300 pounds or more and I would have to man have a mandatory sleep study. Um, I didn't want that to happen, so I used the motivation from me and my girlfriend getting together during that time and that um, knowledge the examiner provided me and I started to look at my calories a little bit more in detail. I started slow. Um, the first thing that I did was I started drinking more water at work. Um, I would constantly bring a gallon of water with me. And while I was doing that before I started counting my calories, I started actually rigor rigorously making sure that I drink a gallon of water each day. Um, that worked and I've maintained that. I currently have, I started around an hour and a half ago at work. And since then I've drank about a quarter of, or about a fifth of the water. Um, the next thing that I changed was I, my girlfriend convinced me to go to the doctor again and get prescribed ADHD medication because I've spent the last 10 years or so not on medication. And for a while I considered that a weakness on my part um, and used and pretty much used every excuse in the book of why I don't need medication to treat something that I thought I could just naturally do, you know? Um, I was wrong on that aspect, and because of me getting on my medication, it has cleared up my thoughts a lot more, and made me a lot more coherent in my sentences, and my thoughts aren't as jumbled as they used to be. Um, my, anxi my anxiety is still there, but I think I'm gonna have to go and see the doctor about getting on that type of medication as well. But overall, ever since I've gotten on my medication two months ago, it has worked wonders and has done a good thing for me. Um, I understand the fact that Adderall is uh, amphetamine and it's uh, appetite suppressant. And for the first two or three weeks, I was heavily ap um, suppressed appetite, like severely suppressed ap appetite. Um, and I, most of my weight loss, I can contribute to the fact that for the first three weeks, I was barely eating anything. And because of that, my weight just plummeted probably by about 15 pounds over the course of three weeks. Um, once the effects of the Adderall kind of mellowed down and it gave me the 
the natural, um, not appetite suppressant, my appetite came back, but like gave me the natural effects just from my ADHD and not the extended um, non-appetite, you could say. Um, oh my God, my thoughts are getting jumbled again. I'm losing track of what I'm trying to say. Um, <laughs> Once that mellowed out and I reached my baseline, um, I've been actually able to stick to a plan when it comes to my calories and um, pretty much eating healthy food. I started, back to what I was saying about three minutes ago, um, the next thing that I um, changed, the first thing was the water, the next thing was I supplemented and changed my breakfast routine. I knew, I knew it was gonna be difficult for me to change my diet substantially, so I started slowly integrating um, more um, healthy foods into my diet. So I started with breakfast. Breakfast was the biggest thing for me that I would indulge my um, appetites in the most, and then throughout the day I pretty much wouldn't eat anything. So what I started doing is I got rid of the energy drinks that I was drinking. Um, my girlfriend gets these protein shakes. I don't have one on me, but they're packed full of fucking nutrients. They're given to her by a medical supply store. So they're really good for you. They're really fucking expensive, but she gets a lot. So um, since she wasn't drinking all of them every day or all of them throughout the month, I pretty much took her excess supply. I, su I supplemented the energy drinks, the monsters, the Red Bulls. Um, with those protein shakes and I started off slow maybe two days a week I would drink those protein shakes and the rest I would have my energy drinks the next week I'd bump it up to three the next week bump it up to four so now at this point I am consuming nothing but those energy drink or not the energy drinks the protein shakes in the morning they're 220 calories they're packed to the gills with fucking every vitamin possible um, and I also um, stopped eating breakfast at Burger King or stopped getting food at the Pilot or stopped getting food at Quick Strip. That was the next thing that I worked on. Um, I was doing good with the protein shakes, then I moved on to um, not eating food at Burger King and the other two places. Um, what I did is I went to the grocery store and I got these low fat Greek yogurts that are about 80 calories and at first got awful, fucking tasted disgusting couldn't taste the strawberry, couldn't taste the blueberry, just it was straight fucking no flavoring whatsoever. And that was a real struggle for me because I, I was used to eating these double croissant sandwich burgers from Burger King every day, two of them for two for six, you know? And I was used to that flavor profile. So going from 700 calories per sandwich down to 80 calories per yogurt, it was definitely a struggle at first, but I persisted and I pushed on and I made sure to get that part of my routine. And now, um, every day, every morning, my breakfast consists of two Greek low-fat yogurts and one protein shake, a total of calories of 340. And depending on what type of um, yogurt I have in my fridge at the time, it could go jump up to 380. Um, and then once I got the breakfast situated, I decided, okay, I'm not going to eat out anymore. I need to start preparing my lunches. So every Sunday, um, I would go up to my girlfriend's house and we would um, go to the grocery store on Sunday and pick out the groceries that I needed to make for the week. Um, I would bring that home with me and then when I'm getting my son ready for bed and um, doing all the stuff with him, um, I would prepare my lunches for the week. And because of that, um, I prepare, I don't know, it kind of just depends on what the week is. I count all my calories when I'm preparing it. Like this week I did chicken, potatoes, onions, and mushrooms. I cooked the chicken on the pan with a little bit of oil. I baked the potatoes, I cut them in um, like squares, and then I diced up the onion and mushrooms and I baked that for about two hours. Um, I had a little bit of butter, but throughout this entire process, I have added every single calorie from the chicken, the potatoes, the onions, the mushrooms, the oil, the butter, the salt and pepper, really, I don't have any calories, but um, I've added all of that together into one big number and then divided that out between um, how many calories I want to consume per day. 
So right now my lunch consists of about 530 calories on top of the 340 that I consume. So by the time I'm home, I'm only I only only consumed about 900 calories in total. Um, and that's worked well. I've done that now for about a month now, prepared my meals, and I think I've gotten into the routine to where that's a natural part of my weekly, um, the weekly thing that I'm doing. Um, on top of that, after I started making my meals, I downloaded this app that counted all my calories, counted everything that I have, and, um, God, my beard looks weird in this, but, um, and now I'm tracking every single calorie so I don't like have a bunch of fucking numbers in my brain trying to figure out exactly what um, um, what I'm doing, you know, and then getting lost and forgetting and whatnot. Um, so all of these together, all of these little changes that I have done over the past two and a half months has led me to now being in the 250s again. I've gone from 297 and I'm down to 259.5. I drank last night. Um, that is one of the big things is I, I've given up cigarettes. I've given up nicotine. I've given up my energy drinks. I've given up regular soda. I still drink like diet and um, sugar-free sodas now. Um, but I've pretty much given up every vice that I can say that made me happy in the past. And I'm trying to transition that happiness of the food into the enjoyment of eating healthy and doing this alongside my girlfriend. And, you know, making my son see this and pretty much trying to benefit my life in the best way that I can. Um, it's still a struggle and I still, like, last week I made salads for lunch. Um, fucking by the third day the salad was mushy and I just couldn't do it. So I fucking went to Safeway and I bought um, some chicken wings and a burger. And I still put it in my calorie calculator and it fucking bumped my calories from like 340 all the way up to 1200. So I was like, all right, well, since I ate a big ass lunch, I can't eat fucking anything really for dinner. You know, I'm maintaining 1700, 1700 to 1800 calories per week. And I, if I eat out fucking on Saturday or on Tuesday because I didn't want to eat my salad, well, tough shit. I only got 300 calories to work with, so I better be eating a little candy, candy bar, you know. Um, I didn't mean this video to turn into fucking 13 minutes of me just rambling on about my routine. Um, I'm going to make another video in a second explaining um, what the future holds for my weight loss and what my plan is once I've reached my goal. So I hope this has given you kind of an understanding of what I'm doing to actually achieve my weight loss. As truck drivers, it is very hard for us to um, do things positive and I've spent the better part of 10 years just eating like shit um, and because of that it's led to health problems with me, with me not being able to walk properly my muscles and my legs have atrophied um, to the point to where when I was 297 I quite literally could not walk at all I couldn't walk a quarter of a block before my legs cramping to the point of exhaustion and I had to sit down um, and then I've noticed that my sleeping wasn't, my sleep was getting progressively worse as I gained weight. And all of these things were contributing to me wanting to change and be better. Um, I know firsthand how difficult this shit is. It's not an easy process, guys. I know people will probably see my, my weight loss journey in the future and a few years when I'm skinny and I'm healthy and whatnot and they're gonna think, oh, this was easy for him. No, it's, it's never been fucking easy. Food has been my vice since I was 18 years old. I've always eaten out, I've always fucking eaten McDonald's, I've always just eaten like shit and put bad things on my body fucking. I spent the better part of the last 10 years after I got out of the military just binging on whatever I wanted. And because of that, I went from 210 all the way up to almost 300 pounds, you know? And I, I'm only human, I make mistakes and but I'm trying to slowly correct them and change my mistakes every day, you know? Um, it's difficult, it's hard as a truck driver, sitting down and knowing that I'm going to a gas station and not picking anything up. Um, if I wasn't on my ADHD medication, I still feel like I would be struggling severely and I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have had made the progress that I have, you know? But because of me 
and my girlfriend helping me decide or forcing me to decide to get on the medication um, that has mellowed out my thoughts and made me think clearer about the future that I want to create with my son, her, and the people around me. Um, I apologize for the long-ass video. Um, I'm going to record the next video right after this. Um, and I'm just going to upload both, both of them together. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy. Please drop a like down below if you haven't done so already. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out as always. And have a nice night, guys.